Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Soda Stream Fizzy. So I just picked this up. Got a great deal off Amazon, so I decided to go ahead and buy some of the accessories along with it. With the Fizzy Soda Stream. You have a replacement, well not a replacement, but a secondary bottle. And we've also bought the Soda Stream Diet Cola and the Soda Stream Zero Calorie Strawberry Watermelon. And we also have some bubbly, bubbly, however you want to say it, cherry bubbly drops. So here's the package for this zero calories, zero sugar. Right here, as you see, check this out. Let you see what it looks like. Okay, so as you see, you have to be careful because it's actually a small bottle and not plastic like I thought. So this is what this looks like. It's cherry, and this is what you will put in the carbonated water. Here's the Diet Cola. Here's the front. Here's the nutrition facts right here. And here's the UPC for it right here as well. All right, guys, so... Strawberry watermelon, same thing. Zero sugar, vitamin B, E, B6, and vitamin D. Here's the back for this. And this is a BPA-free metal carbonated bottle, as you can see. Like I said, you have two bottles, so that way if you make two bottles, you can drink one and save one for later. And there's the UPC for this as well. Okay, so on to the Soda Stream Fizzy. So it's cordless sparkling water maker. It's no cord. Makes sparkling water in seconds. You can see it's earth friendly. This is the front of the box. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box that show you the contents that come along with it. So as you see, it comes with the Soda Stream machine and shows what's inside the co2 soda stream cylinder which carbonates the water and as you can see you get a bpa free reusable carbonating bottle and like i said it only comes with one so i bought another one so if you want to make two different flavors and have them ready you can go and as you can see right here it tells you how to what to do with the empty one and to refill it if you bring it back you can only pay for the gas refill Here's the UPC, where it's made in, and the carbon dioxide cylinder lets you know that this is a chemical and can possibly be flammable, so you have to be careful with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed, guys. All right. As we take this open. Okay, honey, I'm home. side up as you can see here is what's on top so first let's pull out this cylinder you can see it's like a metal cylinder just like you would probably see like a like a small helium tank is what it reminded me of but as you can see it's pretty heavy so you gotta be careful with that it's make sure the seal is still there as you can see Lot number information up top is 60 liters. Okay, so here is the bottle Soda Stream BPA free bottle. Here's the top, here's all around, and here is the bottom. So definitely give that a rinse before I use it. Okay, more plastic. Okay, so now for the machine. Let's get this up out of here safely without dropping it. Okay. Okay, so we were able to get it out the box. As you can see, take the protective plastic covering off. You see the first thing you see 
seems like this may be the back of the unit and they have the warning label right here letting you know to prevent personal injury only carbonate the water never use bottle if damaged or deformed so if this bottle was dented or some kind of seem like it's leaking then they recommend you do not use it because it could possibly explode here's the button here's the front of the unit okay let's get this up out of here carefully okay this is where it's gonna go my setup here is I have a Keurig right here air fryer as well and this is gonna go in this area see how everything matching black appliances all the way around okay so make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe when you get a chance okay back to it so one two three this is what comes with it like i said no flavoring or anything so here are some of the extra ones like I told you I bought. And this is the front. So this is where this goes. The bottle. And the cylinder goes in the back right here. So of course I always read your instructions. Let's see if we can find those. see the booklet but I guess how simple can it be just pull it from the back it tells you instructions on the box how to load it like so and it should be good to go so let's go ahead and get this unraveled Okay, so what you want to do is give it a nice little pull from the top right here, like so. You can see here's the inside, put that to the side. Again, it tells you right here, just model number, serial number, QR code, and it's telling you exchange your empty soda cylinder for a full one and pay for the refill only and not the whole cylinder. So it's kind of like a propane exchange. So let's go ahead and take this off, plastic off the top of this and put it in. Okay guys, so what you have to do, you have to make sure you insert it in here. Like so give it a little lift. And as you see right here, it will screw in right there. Make sure it's lined up. Give it a nice little turn. And as you can see, it's definitely screwing in there. And you definitely want to make sure this is tight. Okay, so we got it in there and double checked, make sure it's tight as it can be. So now we're gonna put the cover back on for protection. That like so. Make sure it puts down in there. Just hear that click and then snap. And as you can see, we have it in there. Just was testing it to make sure I did hook it up correctly. As you can see, when I pressed the button, a little bit came out. I don't want to waste too much of it, so I'm just going to tap it one more time. So it's hooked up. So now what I want to do now is wash this bottle out real quick because it's been sitting in the warehouse. There's no telling what, even though it looks clean, but you know, anybody who works a warehouse knows stuff get thrown around in the stores. They open it up and God knows what. So let's rinse this off and fill it with some water up to the line right here. See that line? Let me see if I can get it right there. So it says fill it right there because you have to leave room to carbonate the water. Okay, so let's fill this up. 
Okay, so we did get the bottle filled up with water to the recommended line, as you can see right there. So now what we have to do is we have to put it in here. I just wiped this down again also because this has to go in there and we do not know where it's been. So this is what you get when you get there live unboxing. All right, so let's go ahead and carbonate it for the first time. Just put this up in here. You got to give it a little push up. Let's get this back here and push down. Okay, so it's you got to like push it up and then it's kind of like get lock intertwines and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna pull this back out into the light so you guys can see. And let's see what happens when we push it for the first time. I see a lot of different videos and I read a couple of things that says. You can push it as many times as you want to make it as bubbly as you want. So most people say three to maybe four times is good. So let's try it for the first time. All right, here we go. First time. One. Two. Three. I noticed the longer you hold it, it squirts out longer and more. So let's go to the fourth one. Let's make it count for the last one. Okay, so as we see, the water is actually starting to bubble. So I chose this flavor just for the unboxing for today. We're gonna now mix it with the strawberry watermelon. So according to the instructions, it says, fill the bottle to the line, fizz the water, which we did. And then it says, fill, cap to your desired level so depending on how much or how much flavor you want let's go ahead and unscrew this cap and we're going to go ahead and probably fill it to i don't know maybe the one liter mark so let's go ahead and get this open okay so we did break the freshness label and this is what it looks like they want you to you can fill it up as you desire here's what it looks like on the inside and you definitely can smell the flavors as soon as you open it also notice it's not that full to the top either but it's okay you know they don't fill anything up anymore like they used to so what we're going to do is go ahead and fill this up as we stated we're going to fill it up And according to the instructions, it said once you carbonate the water, fill it up, pour it into the soda stream bottle, and tighten the cap, and then shake. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see, we did pour it in there, and it did say you can do it to your desired taste so if this is not I guess sweet or as flavorful I guess you can put a little more in there so let's go ahead and shake it up as they stated give it a nice little shake Okay, so it's appeared to be mixed up already. Let's put this top back on and I will taste this real quick and let you guys know. First impressions, first time having this machine and let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad, um, especially with this one being the zero ca zero calorie and zero sugar. So you can always put a little bit more in there, but I don't want to overdo it. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, of course, you, as you get better with it, then you'll be able to mix the flavors better and definitely get better with it. So, all right, guys, this is the unboxing and review quick review of the soda stream fizzy 
I'll put some links below in the description with the uh, flavors, uh, the machine where you can get it from, and so you can read other things on it. They have different models, so you definitely might want to look look it up and see if this is for you. And like I said, I have extra bottles, so I probably do a cola next or something like that. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe.